Hi everyone. Good evening. So last time we were talking about uh, storage account and uh, the one final thing was pending in the storage account, which is called a file share. So once we finish with the file share, then uh, we can go and uh, start discussing about the VNG virtual network gateway. So in the storage account, we are left with the file shares. So here, if you see, once you go to the storage account, you can able to see this file share. So file share, you can share, uh, for example, for your servers, if you want to have any kind of like a NFS kind of share or maybe SMB share, then you can create a file share and this share, you can attach it to your servers. So it will be like a <coughs> single drive will be attached to the multiple servers that way you can do it. So you, this is your file share and these are like multiple servers the same share can be attached to multiple servers this way. Generally, what we'll do if we create a VM and inside this VM, we will attach disks, managed disk will attach and this is dedicatedly to this particular VM. So the data, whichever you getting stored inside, it will go and store inside this disks. But sometimes we need one sharing device like file shares. So you can create it and you can attach it to the multiple servers. Like for example, any common data you want to share across multiple servers, then you create it and store the data and uh, mount it on the different servers. For example, uh, it's not relevant to this, but to understand easily, uh, like when I was working in the night initial days, like in the career starting days, whenever like, uh, initial days we used to work in a small organization and like uh, during the night shifts what used to do like we used to bring some uh, movies in the pen drive and uh, that we used to copy in one of the machine and whoever brings the movies everyone will come and they will copy the movies inside this uh, machine and obviously this is in the office so obviously whoever working in the night shift what we used to do some so because of this network drive, we will share that like in Windows, you know, right? Uh, right click the folder, share and uh, access to everyone so that everyone can able to go and access the drive and they can able to watch whatever that they want to watch the movies. What is the advantage of here? See, if uh, 20 people are there, if 20 persons having their desktops, so they want these movies, then each and every desktop will be filled up with that storage. 200 GB, 300 GB, all the movies if you're down, uh, bringing from the, in the pen drive. And uh, if everyone wants it, then everyone should download it in there, inside their desktop. So a lot of space is occupying, right? So this way, one machine is having that data. And if you're sharing, then all of these members can able to go and access it through network and they can watch the movies. So end of the day, only one machine is occupying 200 GB remaining. Everyone wants the same data they want to watch movies so they will just access it and through the network and they can watch whatever they want so here 20 members are desktops are free with the storage so their storage is not full with the movies because only one machine is using it the same way same data want to provide to multiple machines then create a file share and give some uh, what are the data you want to share put it over there and that can be shared to multiple machines so this is how we use this sharing concept so here also if you want to do anything something like that then you can create this file share and you can access it so here if you see file share click on it as of now it is showing only smb uh, why because at the time of creating the storage account we did not select that nfs option see in the storage account if you remember uh, it was asking storage type. So what did we select a general purpose or premium? Some options we are providing. So one of the uh, option like account type is to get the NFS also that we did not select at the time of creating storage account. So that's the reason it is not showing NFS over here. If you want NFS means what? You can use it in the Linux mission. SMB means what? You can use it in the Windows mission. So as of now, what are the file share which I create? It cannot be mounted 
on the NFS, uh, on the Linux machines, only on the Windows machine. So we can create it, file share and uh, name, use some name and tire premium. This is not, as I mentioned just now, while creating the storage account, we did not select premium, we selected standard. So that's why it is not showing this premium option for here. Transaction optimized, enable transaction heavy workload that need premium level latency for good capacity, for good uh, network latency, you are going to get this one. Hot optimized for online archive storages. This is cool means kind of any backups you want to store or optimized for general purpose of file systems such as Team Shares and Azure file. So I am here means regular transactions like this, if someone trying to access the shares, sir, then better to use this one. Or no one is going to access, for example, to store the log files. Then you can use this cool because just log files to store the log files. We need some storage. No one is going to come and see the log files, right? So read operations will be very less. So that time you can use cool. So I'm selecting this one and max iOS 1000. And this is for a read write transaction. This is a uh, rate. And uh, by default, they are giving 5 TB. Later on, once you create, you can modify this one. As of now, you cannot modify here. Once it is created, you can reduce it. And uh, to use the SMB protocol with this share, check if you can communicate over port 445. The scripts for Windows clients. So this will run on the port 445. So create. So it is created. You see, this is the one it is created. And if you go inside this one. So this is a file share, Galaxy file share. And this with this connect, you can able to connect and upload means you can store files directly from here. For example, in your uh, organization, we provided access to one of the user to go and access only this file share. That is possible only with the uh, IAM and uh, Accutor during that time if you provide any access, then they can come and upload the files here, like through GI. For example, upload, browse, uh let's say if i just select this one upload so all the four files has been uploaded Okay, under the browse, you can able to see all the files has been uploaded. So add directory means if you want to create a folder over here, you can create a directory and inside that also again, you can uh, upload some files over here and uh, you can delete share by clicking this and change tire, whatever the tire you selected, transaction uh, optimized instead of that, you want to change it, you can also change it and edit quota instead of five terabytes, uh, I want only five GB then we can change the size. Now it became the size is 5 GB. So this is how you can create and uh, you can take snapshots of this file share and you can take the backup of this file share with these options. So back end uh, backup vault, it is going to take the backup. What are, whenever you're taking the backup, by that time, how many files and directories are there? All those will be backed up inside this backup. So you can configure backup here. Or if you don't want, if it is not that much critical, you can ignore it. Again, it depends. Uh, this file share, how critical it is. Because like sometimes uh, if you are sharing this uh, file share to multiple servers, if one user, whoever the uh, team, like uh, this is some separate team one and this is team two, this server belongs to some team one, this server belongs to some team two, and this is for team three. So if some of the user deleted some files over it, no one can able to see it. Again, it depends, we will provide permissions, like whatever the team, these teams are placing files over here, and we should not give access to this team, that we can give directory level permissions, but somehow files got deleted, then 
again you cannot retrieve so for that purpose if you want to take the backup if it is some important uh, data it is storing then you can create a backup here snapshots like whenever you want to do any activity before that if you want to take any snapshot you can create the snapshot go and uh, here if you see connect so here it is going to give the z letter whenever you are mounting it to any of the windows machine and uh, with the help of a storage account key because we are not using active directory as of now uh, if you remember in the storage account we have access keys by using that access key we can able to connect and uh, the script will check to see if the storage account is accessible by port 445 which is the port smb users so if you see here show script let's try to connect from my machine okay from the power shell okay failed timeout app quiz let me try that these are installed softwares right so here you want me to enable file sharing support okay let me try this yeah first of all from our machine we need to enable this uh, so everyone you can go like appis.cpl there you will get this prompt so once you get this prompt i will show you once again cm uh, not cmd run so here appis.cpl and uh, from here we can see here uh, turn windows features on or off if we select here scroll down then under this smb 1.0 slash cfs file sharing support this will be by default uh, it will be in unchecked so you can just check this box and click on ok and once it is done just go and uh, execute this script so now if i executed it got connected if you see here connection succeeded and uh, if you see this drive has been added so successfully it got added and now if i go and see here again it should show me pc but where is this drive network drive maybe after restart it will detect i think because it was asking me to restart uh, once that feature is enabled but if you see here somehow it got uh, successfully connected this is a z drive maybe once restart i may get that so here the drive will come so i cannot restart now after that i will restart so this is how you can able to access this file share please enable that feature over here so this is about the file share thank you guys have a nice day